think he's a fantastic local MP um, and I agree with his politics. I love his position on Palestine, personally. I know he does, he's very much for the people. I think voting for Jeremy Corbyn is a complete waste of a vote. Far too extreme. You've got, to, you've got to take the centre, and if you take the centre, then you'll get into power. Mm. If you get into power, then you can make decisions. As a local politician, he's pretty good for the community. I think he's pretty all right, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here in Islington North, where Jeremy Corbyn has been the local legend for 40 years. Is Corbyn mania still alive and kicking, or are the people of Islington North too loyal to the Labour Party? You, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. What do you think about Jeremy Corbyn? He's a really good constituency MP. It's clear that he is popular with the with the electorate in, in his constituency, and I think he'll probably win because of that. I don't think he was a particularly uh, uniting leader of the Labour Party. I think I think in the UK it is unfortunate you do have to win elections from the centre ground. What do you think that Jeremy Corbyn is standing is an independent? That's news. It's news? Yeah, I didn't realise he was doing that. Um, because he's always been uh, Labour. Excuse me, sir. I'm proud all the way over here. Will you be voting in this general election? Uh, yes. You will be? Yeah. Did you know that Jeremy Corbyn is standing as an independent? Uh, I do, yes, but I'm not from around here, so it doesn't really affect <laughs> me. <laughs> Who are you voting for? I'll probably be voting for Greens, to be quite honest with you. Why is it that you were going to support Labour over Jeremy Corbyn? Um, well, I didn't really know much about it. I didn't vote Labour because of him doing what he's sure. doing. Yeah. I'm just doing Labour because it's Labour. Um, I want to do a bit of research into what he's done locally, because I'm not really sure what the, the Labour candidate is offering to do. What do you think of Jeremy Corbyn? Uh, he's a good, nice guy, but I don't know if he's that, like, if he's that good as a politician. Which constituency do you live in? Uh, Haringey. Haringey, okay. If you were to live in Islington North, yes. with the Labour Party there and the independent Jeremy Corbyn, yes. could you see yourself supporting either Corbyn. of them? Corbyn. So you're a big supporter of Jeremy Corbyn? Yes. If you could vote in the election, who would you vote for in this constituency? We would probably vote for Corbyn, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you think about Jeremy Corbyn then? I mean, we are leftists in France, so we were talking Yeah, about we were talking about the France, situation yeah. actually in France. Because France is complicated at the moment. Yes. And um, yeah, we will but left for, for the same reason we were left in France. That we all in the same nation, and we can't leave people aside, and that's what left, leftists do. Did you know that Jeremy Corbyn is standing as an independent against the Labour Party? Yeah. Will you be supporting him? No. Are you going to be supporting instead? Uh, Labour. Labour. What is it about the Labour Party that is going to get your vote instead of uh, Mr Corbyn? Because I think voting for Jeremy Corbyn is a complete waste of a vote and I think his stance on uh, various things and his movement of the Labour Party to the left is completely um, to the detriment of the Labour mm. Party and I think the only way that you're going to have a Labour government is by having someone like Keir Starmer. What's your view on Keir Starmer? I think he's a spineless bellend. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you were to compare uh, Keir Starmer's Labour leadership to Jeremy Corbyn's, what would you say? Um, I feel like Jeremy had m more of a spine. I feel like, yeah, Keir Starmer's a bit of a puppet and he he's a bit wafty and stupid, but equally Jeremy Corbyn also has his flaws, so... What do you think of the Labour Party today? Uh, dog shit. And your opinions on Keir Starmer? Dog shit. Want to elaborate? Uh, I don't feel particularly um, erudite at present, so no, but I think is uh, pathetic, utterly <laughs> pathetic. Uh, and uh, I'm not looking forward to his premiership. Yeah. What do you think of Keir Starmer and his leadership? Um, well, it's a bit of a cliche to say that he's very uninspiring, but I, I think he is. I think he's just. Um, he doesn't really have uh, an exciting vision that he's trying to get people behind. I also feel like it might be a good thing to have Jeremy Corbyn in the mix just to have a, a diversity of a voice in Parliament, so that might swing me as well. Did you know that Jeremy Corbyn is standing as an independent against the Labour Party? Yes. I wouldn't vote for him either. Can I ask why not? Uh, far too extreme. You've got, to, you've got to take the centre, and if you take the centre, 
then you'll get into power. Mm. You get into power, then you can make decisions. What's centrist about keeping 300,000 children in poverty? What's centrist in about allowing inequality to get worse? What's centrist about allowing working class living standards to fall by 20%? The manifesto mentions business 60 times and inequality once. Come on. Families around here, people around here, all around the country, are in a desperate crisis. Crisis of poverty, crisis of debt, crisis of a lack of hope, and there's a mental health crisis facing the whole country. Based on some of the responses, I found a problem. There were still residents of the constituency who believed that Jeremy Corbyn was still the Labour candidate and not an independent. However, what was clear to a lot of people was his treatment by the party. How do you feel about the way he was treated by the Labour Party? Terribly, awfully. Do you think he deserved to be kicked out? No. I don't think he's been treated well by the Labour Party. I don't think he should have had the whip removed. Um, and I'm glad he's standing as an independent. Um, and I don't feel that the Keir Starmer's Labour Party really represents me at the moment. Do you think he deserved to be kicked out of the party? Um... I guess I, don't, I feel like I didn't. To me, that whole anti Semitism argument seemed to, to me to be so convoluted and complicated. I couldn't really get my head around, like, was, he def was it definitely bad enough that he should have been kicked out of the party? It seems, it seems to me like it was more likely that he just wanted to, Keir Summer just wanted to have an excuse to say we're completely well, different now. Officially, he was kicked out of the party not for anti Semitism, but because he lost the last election. So the NEC motion to kick him out was because he lost. Oh, really? They couldn't legally say, because it would, it would start a lot of. do that? Kick someone out just because they lost an election? I didn't realise that. The official reason from the NEC is that he lost uh, an election. They didn't pin it on anti-Semitism. That's their... That's the, well, that's the reason. So, upon hearing that, what is your response to I that? don't think you should kick someone out of the party for losing elections. They've got experience, which... And also, Keir Starmer was standing by him all through the elections, saying he agreed with what he was doing. I've been a member of the Labour Party for 54 years. And I've never seen anything like it. Of course, there's always been battles for ideas between the left and the right. I've always been on the left. Um, an awful lot of that time, the left has been marginalised, but still has the soul of the Labour Party, mm. the heart of what we all believe. Now, uh, the left is being eliminated, not just marginalised, and that is extremely worrying. I believe Labour have now shifted shared the legitimacy of being the voice of ordinary working people. Do you think that Keir Starmer is the centre or do you think he's a bit more right-wing than that? He's a little bit, he's centre-ish, isn't he? He's a little bit right-ish, he's a bit, he's right in the middle, isn't he, really? But if you don't take the centre, if you don't get into power, you won't, get, mm. won't be able to make any decisions. So that's why he's been so conservative. Yeah. Um, I think he's quite, he comes across quite evasive sometimes in interviews which makes me trust him less and I think he's being very dishonest by saying that all our problems are going to be solved by growth because obviously the Conservative government have spent the last 14 years trying to grow the economy and I don't think he's got any magic solutions that are going to make it suddenly start growing and there's tens of billions gap in the budget which he's claiming that growth is going to fix which I, I don't think he's being honest about so I don't fully trust him.